use a poor developer's vector database to implement the RAG pattern. Let's take a look at the application. The first step is to go to the data page and click the load data button and enter a title and contents for an article. The status will show the chunking of the article into 200 word segments and they will then be added to the database. We can then go to the home page and the user can enter a search term that will then conduct a vector search against the database, return results, and if we click the search results tab, we can see the results of the vector search. Let's put in another search and again we can see on the results tab that there is a response from the OpenAI completions endpoint with references and if we click the search results tab we can see the results from the vector search. What is a large language model? A large language model, LLM, is a type of artificial intelligence system that can generate natural language text based on a given input. An LLM can complete various kinds of prompts, such as questions, sentences, paragraphs, or stories. Retrieval Augmented Generation, RAG, or RAG, is a technique for building natural language generation systems that can retrieve and use relevant information from external sources. The concept is to first retrieve a set of passages that are related to the search query, then use them to supply grounding to the prompt to finally generate a natural language response that incorporates the retrieved information. The RAG pattern requires granular chunks of information and we want them to be as accurate as possible. However, we have to limit how many of these chunks of information we use because the AI completions are constrained by the size of the prompt. A vector search as opposed to a usual keyword search is able to return results which are semantically related to the search query to properly ground the model. This requires a vector database, and vector databases can be complex to set up and expensive to operate. Using a SQL Server avoids that. Get your embeddings here. To obtain the vectors needed for the vector search, we process the text by calling an OpenAI model that produces embeddings that consist of an array of floats. An embedding is a mathematical representation of a word or phrase that captures its meaning in a high dimensional space. For example, a search query is entered regarding playing audio in a Blazor application. The search query is turned into embeddings and cosine similarity is used to calculate its vectors against the vectors in the text chunks stored in the database. The top five results are returned, and the text chunks are used as grounding for the model and passed to the prompt that is sent to the OpenAI Completion API. The user receives a well-grounded, coherent response. Download and set up the sample application. To run the application, first download it from the downloads page on, on blazerhelpwebsite.com. Open the application in Visual Studio 2022 or higher. Open the SQL script located in the SQL directory. Create a database in your Microsoft SQL Server called Blazor Poor Person Vector and run the script. This will create the required database objects. If you don't already have an OpenAI API key, go to openai.com and click sign up. Navigate to the org settings page and copy your organization ID. If you did not receive an API key as part of the sign up process, navigate to the API keys page and create a new one and save it. You'll need it in the next step. 
open the appsettings.json file and enter your OpenAI API key and organization ID. Now we will explore the code. The first step is to navigate to the data page and click the load data button to open the dialog. This code is used to open the dialog. Enter a title and article contents and click the submit button. This code creates chunks of 200 words each, calls OpenAI to get the embeddings for each chunk and inserts the vectors from the embeddings into the database. The screen will show the progress of creating the chunks. These are the methods called by the previous code that create the chunks and also some methods to clean up the text. If we log into OpenAI and look at the usage, we can see that the cost to create 47 embeddings of 200 words each uses about 2100 tokens. The current cost for embeddings is about 0.0004 cents per 1000 tokens. Perform a vector search. On the home page, a user can enter a search query. When they click the search button, the following code executes to create an embedding of the search query and call the SQL function to calculate the cosine similarity with the other documents in the database. This is the function that is called that calculates the cosine similarity. Notice that the inner join is on the vector value ID because each vector has to be compared to other vectors by their position in the array of vectors. A key to this solution is that this function runs fast because we created the following column store index when we created the database table. This is the code that takes the result from the function, parses it, and sorts the result. The results are available on the search results tab. Finally, the following code passes the results from the vector search to a prompt by calling the get instruction method shown later and passing that result as a role system message. It then adds a role user message that contains the original search query by the user and passes that to OpenAI to get a completion. The user is then shown the final result. Now, let us look at the code that is used to create the prompt. First, it is important to note that when constructing any prompt, the following is recommended. One, explain what you want. Two, explain what you don't want. And three, provide examples. This is the get instruction method that constructs the prompt. It is passed knowledge. Notice how the knowledge is inserted into the prompt and the prompt is instructed on how to use the knowledge to generate a response. Notice that two examples are provided. The first example shows sample knowledge and what the answer should be. The second example shows what OpenAI is supposed to do if it is given knowledge but is unable to answer the query.